My name is KiwiKid and welcome to my new web series called Build with Chrome. So I found this tool, Build with Chrome, quite a while ago, uh, about six to eight months ago. And ever since I saw the Lego movie, I kind of been really interested in sharing this tool that I found and how to do really cool stuff with it. So to start off, I'm going to show you how this web site thing that Google set up works. So when you go to buildwithchrome.com, it'll take you to this page um, and you can circle through different things. You can explore builds, uh, build academy, and uh, start building. So I'm going to start with explore all builds. Um, this is kind of just a fun little thing. It's a map that allows you to look all over the world at different places um, where people have built things. I think, if I'm correct, it might just be limited to the US. Well, I lie. You can build anything anywhere. So that's kind of cool. Um, and it, down here at the bottom, you see all these different Lego building designs that people have made. And if you click on one, it'll show you who created it and what they created and things like that. Click on it again, and it'll actually zoom you in onto the map where people have created things. Um, and I think this is a really cool view because this is allows you to kind of just like go around and see different things. Someone had a good time making all these flags and such, and people can have done some pretty cool things. Uh, that's a pretty cool effect. Um, and I think this is just an awesome little tool that Google's provided and allows you to zoom in and out and choose a place, and you're just like, and you can click and decide to build something there. So I'm going to start off, if we go back to the world map where we were, uh, we can open the drawer down here, and this drawer shows us different things all over. Uh, you can build 2D things, kind of like flags, stuff like that, characters, self-explanatory, uh, random if you just want to build anything random and just show it, uh, buildings, and uh, vehicles. So down here you see popular, my builds, your circles, and plus ones. So Plus ones are kind of like anything that you see, any sort of buildings that you see, you can click on it and you can go plus one, kind of like their Google Plus thing. Uh, your circles, anybody you know um, around the world that's built anything will show up down here. Uh, my builds, so I've kind of had a bit of fun in these last few months and building certain things. So this was kind of my first demo build that I did. It was a, well, it was designed to be a house. Um, but the interesting thing is with building with Chrome, you actually have a limited amount of Lego bricks. So fortunately, this was meant to be a house and kind of stopped part way when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And yeah, so you can change the orientation up here and see what you can do. So it's really only the bottom floor. I got a door, kind of living room, family room, kitchen area. So anyway, that was kind of my first big thing that I did. Um, I wanted it to be bigger and better, but unfortunately, like I said, I ran out of bricks. Um, so I kind of went on and did other things. So I don't know if many of you recognize this, but it, this is basically a TARDIS or a police box, a blue police box from the TV show Doctor Who. Um, so kind of just had fun replicating that. Um, at the time when I found this tool, I was really interested in the tennis events that were going on at the time. So I designed a tennis court, um, and in doing so, I kind of just, there's a tennis ball, tennis court, so then I thought, hey, why don't I do all the surfaces, all the sur main surfaces for the Grand Slam tournaments, so this is a grass court, um, similarly I did a clay court, kind of an orange tint for the clay, um, the blue one was uh, supposed to represent hard court, so for the Australian Open and for um, the US Open. And then to carry on, I kind of did other sport things. So I did um, this one is a cricket pitch. So kind of have hard to see. So I kind of have a cricket bat, cricket bat, cricket ball pitch and stuff. So. That was kind of fun to do. Um, what else have I done? Uh, other sports ones that I did. Uh, this was a rugby field. So, kind of just had a little bit of fun. There's the rugby ball, the posts, stuff like that. Similarly, I did a uh, soccer field. 
watch there, this looks a bit small. Um, got the goals on either side. Got center field, soccer ball, flag and stuff. So I had fun with that. Um, then I kind of had this ambition to do other things. So I decided to do start off doing some symbols, company logos. So I did Intel. Um, I have some other things that I did just for fun that I can show you later. They're more just things that I did on my own. Um, I took screenshots of all the stuff that I built, even if I didn't save it to my Google profile. Uh, so that's actually one really cool thing. When you build something, uh, you, once you build it, it'll give you this option to publish it, and you can log in and save it and view it. So I can, I'll can i show you later on a few of the other things that I've built that I didn't save. Um, so this was kind of, I decided to do some things that were lying around my house at the time. So this is a model of my 3DS, kind of a game controller with the uh, power cord, uh, the pit stylus. Um, kind of just had fun, dual cameras, 3DS. So that was kind of a fun little thing to do. Um, similarly, I did my uh, Game Boy. So this is kind of a multi-view of my Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Pocket. So if I look at it from this view, kind of this is the front view. Got the screen, you got the uh, arrow key, A, B, uh, select, start. This is the bottom view if the screen was facing down and then I kind of show two different games I believe one of them is uh, I think this was Pokemon Red and this was like Super Wario Brothers or something like that so that was kind of fun to do um, oh here's also another one of my company logo ones that I was interested in doing so I did uh, the uh, Microsoft logos over the time over time so this is kind of their newest one that they've gone very simple looking. This is kind of the uh, Windows 8 kind of uh, Metro UI looking one. This is their old style like wavy form, things like that. It's a bit hard to do when you're working with Lego bricks because it's so square and stuff like that. So in general, it's kind of how building with Chrome works. So I'm going to take us back to the home page. So that's kind of you can look around the world and things like that. So take you back to our home page. Um, before we actually start building something awesome, as it says, um, I'm going to go over to the Build Academy here. Build Academy is kind of cool because it allows you to master your skills um, as, and kind of go through your tutorial. So let's start the Build Academy. So the Build Academy, I won't read this to you because I think everybody can read here, but Build Academy allows you to kind of progress through, do some challenges, build things, stuff like that. So I'm just going to go through and start these challenges one by one. So let's master the basics. Um, so let's make sure we understand how to, how to build things and stuff like that. So I'm going to get started and show you how to do this. So it's basically giving us a little dialog box here, um, showing us how to use it. So we can rotate it by sw swiveling the screen around or by clicking and dragging anywhere on the blue part. Uh, you can also, as it says, you can also use the dial pads over here. Whoa, checkbox. Great. Everything's awesome. Um, by tapping the rotate button. Okay, I can tap the rotate button. You can rotate the bricks using this rotate button over here. So to click bricks, so this is kind of like your uh, cookie sheet, your your building model, your base, your foundation. So basically, click anywhere. Awesome, you've built something. Now, when you remove bricks, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, there's two ways you can do it. You can use the trash key over here to remove. The other way that I found that you can remove is if you pu place a brick, if you with uh, your left mouse button, if you right click on it, it also removes it. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, they also have an array of colors, so you can change your color to anything like this so that's pretty cool so so now I've been told to place a red brick where they told me to alright so I can do that it's pretty easy uh, looks like it goes there great uh, let's add two more yellow bricks so these these look like those so I'm just gonna quickly get through this um, this is pretty straightforward Oop, didn't place it quite in the right spot so let's do this again the nice thing is you can rotate around, change your angle, and just 
do things like that. So we've started overlapping bricks. So they want us to put this here. Oh, hang on. It seems like a brick is misplaced. Ah, uh, all right. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna start with the blue ones since they are right here. And then we got two red, two red fours. So I'll place these real quick. So yeah, when I found this tool, I thought it was one of the coolest things ever. I've been a huge Lego nerd fan for so many, many years. Um, and I'd recently just gone to see the uh, Lego movie. And I loved that movie. It was absolutely awesome. Uh, so using this, I was like, okay, great. Let's move on and... All right. Mastered it. Woohoo. I feel like I need someone saying something really awesome like na right now. Morgan Freeman voice saying something great. So I've gone in. Uh, let's go next challenge. Let's keep going. Let's move on. Uh, construction projects. Now that you understand locking, let's help Emmett complete his construction shed. I love how many references they have to the Lego movie. I honestly think this was, the Lego movie was probably one of the greatest movies I've seen. Um, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, in here we have, not only do you have normal Lego bricks, as you can see anyway, but you have these extra bricks, so like a window, door, awkward shaped bricks, things like that. So they want me to place a blue door, so I'm going to place this blue door. Uh, let's rotate it correctly, so it's facing outward. Awesome. Alright, let's secure the roof. So secure the walls and the roof. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, the Lego movie was such a great movie. I would, anyone who hasn't seen it, I would thoroughly recommend you see it. It was probably one of the greatest movies I'd seen, especially in the animated form. Um, it had a great cast, had great um, Easter eggs to a lot of the Lego things that, that uh, Lego's designed over the years. Um, and I honestly just thoroughly enjoyed it. There was a lot of nostalgia, and it was great. I So, anyway, anybody who hasn't seen it, go see it. Um, I am heard that they're making a sequel at the moment, which I think is really great, because um, I think it, a sequel would be perfect for it. Not that I want to waste more money on a, on a movie, but... Legos are Legos, and I don't think they'll be dying out anytime soon. You can literally create Legos for anything, any movie. Um, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit. I just heard that Simpsons have just brought out a Lego s set, so that's really interesting. Um, now, basically, I'm waiting on other things. I have some Legos of my own, um, mainly the Star Wars Harry Potter uh, sets like that, but uh, one of the sets that I've been looking at have um, one of them is the Doctor Who series, and there's a big community base out there that is looking into um, building or basically convincing them to create their own Lego set, which I think would be really cool. Like, I'd definitely be the first one to jump on board for that. Um, but overall, I think this is a really cool tool. So, getting back to this, uh, they want me to finish off this roof here, I believe. Yeah, so that's that side complete, so they want us to do this side. So, let's start off uh, building this angled roof pieces. I think that's going to go there. Uh, that's going to go there. Oh, that's not the one. That's the one. It's gonna go. Nope. Okay. It's the only thing is sometimes the camera angles on this are a bit difficult. You can zoom in and out pretty easily, um, so that's kind of nice. But anyway, with the instructions here, it's a bit hard to see what's going on. So, uh, oh, again, off a bit. When when I'm done with this tutorial, I'm gonna post a couple of the. I'll go through all the screenshots of the ones that I've did that weren't able to be shown
because I didn't. I just decided not to save them, or they glitched out and didn't save. It's a bit finicky at times. Um, sometimes they didn't save properly, and so I just was like, ah, I don't care. I'll just post them anyway. Uh, but overall, I think this is a really great tool for anybody who really enjoys playing for playing with Lego, and it's free. It's like you don't need anything. You can just build. Um, if you want to share with friends, you can just design a um, design whatever you want, and then post it to your Google account. So this is actually kind of interesting. They're showing me this tool down here. Um, it's right here. And it allows you to kind of change the viewing point that you're viewing from. So if you're building something tall, you can't and you can't see it properly, which I think is actually really useful um, for people. So sometimes it's nice so that you can get a better perspective of what's going on. Uh, Twelve, so I'm gonna three high on each one. Um, I'm I'm really creative when it comes to Lego. I think it it reminds me when I was a kid and I used to play with Legos and build things and stuff like that and I when uh, when Minecraft came out I was actually kind of interested oh, wrong color um, I was kind of interested at first in Minecraft but you know over time kinda of didn't I kinda of got sick of it and it was kind of like the idea of having to mine for things and gather materials in order to build things kind of got a bit boring um, and it's kind of like oh I want to build something I have to go make it uh, I think it's I think it's a great and really creative game uh, to all those who play it and I think the creator of Minecraft did an awesome job I wouldn't be surprised if he was a big Lego enthusiast um, but uh, yeah so I think that anybody who really likes Lego should really enjoy this tool. Um, as I said, this is my web series. I've done a web series before uh, with a friend, but this is uh, my f and that didn't really last too long. Um, but this is my first official web series that I'm going to do on my own. And each each week, each I'm not sure at this point, kind of when I have some time, um, I'm going to post a new video doing different things so if you guys ever have any suggestions on what you want me to build just link it in the description below and I will attempt to create it because it's what I do I like using this tool a lot um, so for anybody who wants to I would be glad to build whatever you want awesome so tells us to do our next challenge so I'm gonna go do that um, Oh, here we go. Woohoo. Ah, uh, yeah, that guy from the movie. Played by uh, Will Ferrell. Yeah, good, funny character, amusing character. So, Bricksburg, let's start this one. Oh, different colors. So, yes, it is very important builds with a solid foundation. Ah, transparent bricks. Yes, I do like the transparent bricks. So, sometimes these are a bit hard to see. Um, especially if you're white, can't see two of them. There's one here, that's the white dot, and square dot. But you can't even see them, it's a bit of a glitch, but I don't think Google's too worried about it. Uh, so let's go red. Uh, they want us to use... Oh, this is challenging to see. So I believe they want us to build... This thing. Wow, this is actually very difficult to see. I have to zoom in a bit. All right, much better. Okay. Uh, most likely, the next um, showing that I, the next web show that I'm gonna do, not well, web show, but the next um, video. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Where does this one go? Let's see. Where is this one being placed? Ah, it's not that. Okay. Um, so the next web show will probably just be a, or maybe just a mini episode, will be going through the other ones that I've designed, the other things that didn't get posted because I didn't feel like it. Um, There's some pretty cool things. I did a uh, double-decker bridge with a cargo 
boat going underneath. Um, oh wow, this is going to be time consuming. Um, I did, what else did I do? I did a, oh I did my alarm clock, I have an alarm clock here that I kind of mimicked. Um, I did that. What else did I do? There, anyway, there are a bunch of different things that I decided to do. Um, even the ones that uh, you've seen already, I decided to take screenshots of for kind of my personal record, just to be like, hey, this is what I designed, sort of thing. Um, it's a lot of fun, and kind of the another purpose of this web series was to kind of get people to uh, get involved and kind of give me ideas of what to uh, build, because honestly, this is so much fun. I say that w with so much enthusiasm. And no, that's not sarcasm. Uh, I really enjoy this. Um, I find it a lot better than real Legos, to a degree. Mainly for the fact that uh, I don't have to worry about my Legos falling apart. Um, that was the one thing that I got sometimes frustrated with, with real Legos, was the fact that I would build something and maybe this foundation or whatever was not quite perfect enough and it would collapse and yeah that was really painful and annoying so doing it on this tool is really kinda cool um, you know there are a few downsides to this you know you have a limited space you have a limited, a limited amount of tiles and things but overall I think it's a it's really really awesome um, but I'll show you this really cool gimmicky thing in a moment. Uh, if you stack a bunch of things up, you can actually remove them so they look like they're floating. Kind of like that whole Minecraft sort of thing. So I think that's kind of cool. I have a floating brick. Uh, but it makes it kind of nice when you're trying to make things look like they're in the air. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is pretty awesome. I'm wanting to design some other cool things over time, you know, maybe build a, design a s skyscraper, or do other uh, models. So if you if you have something that you want me to um, build, you're more than welcome to send me a photo of it or something like that, and I'd be more than, more than happy to do a replica of it, because a model replica sort of thing, and show you. But or even do it as a as a web show because this this is kind of enjoyable and they don't take too long some of them take a little bit longer than others depending on how long but most likely what I'll do is is show you how I got started and maybe do a time lapse video of of them and kind of kind of just go from there okay so they want me to ah I see uh, so, I will kind of time lapse the more boring parts because there are a fair amount of stuff that just takes forever. Like, even this is a bit tedious right now. But I don't want to skip through the tutorial because I think it's kind of useful and kind of shows you what needs to be what needs to be done. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if you have any ideas for things, be sure to link them in the comments section below and I will make a list of them and do them as soon as I can. Oh, that's going to be fun. Two by two plates. Ugh. Um, but yeah, so if you want a building, you want me to design a vehicle, if you want me to do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. So the reason I'm doing this actually is kind of what I was going back to is being able to remove the levels. Did I do that one? Yes, I did. And then being able to go back with the four red pieces that I have to put in and go from there. Alright, so now this makes it easier. That way I don't have to change the piece every time. And I can just do this. So yeah, you can fit the pieces in between, which is kind of nice. And unf since they're both the same thickness anyway, I can do it from this angle, the room rotate, and stuff like that. So this actually made it a lot easier instead of having to switch the piece every time, because it does get a bit annoying. The one nice thing that that would 
that I would recommend if Google were to try and improve this would be to have hotkeys for you would be able to set hotkeys for certain tiles. Oh look, we're done with another one. Let's see, finish. Woo, Brickbirds. Bricksburg. Bricksburg, yeah. Oh, I get to design build a realistic skyline at Bricksburg. Alright. So Wow. Oh, time to remove all the white bricks. So instead of doing the trash icon like it says, you can click here and then remove them like that. I find that kind of tedious, so if you right click on the thing, it just removes it for you, which is far easier. I'm uh, missing a couple. So kind of showing you how to remove bricks by inserting into the tower. Ooh, interesting. All right. Um, but uh, yeah, so how are these sticking out? So they're sticking out. Oh, I see. Okay. Oop. Wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. Oh, I could. Oop. Okay, this is kind of difficult to see at various angles. Ah, I get it now. All right, so two go each way. So, alrighty. Uh, let's see. These ones gonna stick the other way out. This is a bit tedious at times, um, but like I said, I'll do time lapse videos of the boring parts for certain ones, just because I know how. Oh, how at times I need to zoom in. How at times can not be the greatest and most enjoyable thing to watch. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you have any ideas, I'd be more than welcome to build and design them for you. And, and if you want to share your ideas, just link them in the description. Just take a screenshot of it and wink it and you can share the other things. So awesome, another great one that's done. Challenge three, two, awesome. So I think I'm going to call it here for now. Uh, this was my first episode. Um, this is Build with Chrome, and I will see you next time for the next episode. Thank you.